here we are at the new place. Let me show you. There we are. Hold on, something's not quite right. Right back. Okay, hey, hey, hold on. I got you. Hi, Bambi. So this is the place, and I've got it sort of set up. It's kind of loud out here. I'll probably shut the door in a minute. So firstly, I just want to say this space was rented out or advertised as a storage unit. And I called and said, hey, do you think I could sew in there? And do you have power? And if you don't, I have a power station. And she agreed to meet with me. She's like, yeah, sure. And I met with her and, and you saw the opening clip of what it looked like. Um, and there were some concerns with moisture coming in, but she said she had stored her stuff in here for months and there was no problem. And they had cleaned it out really well um, They'd actually hosed it out with vinegar water uh, about five months ago. So anyway, we discovered that the electricity in here does work. So I have an extension cord. Um, I have this light as well, which I'm so glad I didn't get rid of. It goes right over my sewing table. And so I have the uh, that there, which I use my sewing machine on and then the vintage iron here so we're trying to be real careful with um energy but the, besides the electricity the main awesome part about this room is the window i mean look at that it's an entire window in a little vintage garage and we have the shelving and then i love this wooden wall here i just think that's so cool she was like you can paint if you want no i love that wall but you see all the storage, so I'm about to go to the storage unit and get the rest of my stuff. Because as you can see, there's room to store it. I'll be using this area for my fabrics set up, which are now just basically in containers, which is fine. And then I'm just going to put a few extra things that I have, personal items, up there. Like my tent and stuff. And then I'm going to redo the van and set it up for having stuff in it. Now you might have noticed this piece of plastic up here, which we did put up because since it's old boards up there, um, there was like dust coming down. And since it's a sewing studio now, um, we decided to do that. And also it'll help if there is any water. But let me just tell you real quick, this lady that I'm renting from is the nicest person. Um, not only did she rent the space to me, you know, considering my unusual van life situation. But she has done so many things to welcome me. And her priority seemed to be, well, if this is going to be a sewing studio and not just storage, then we need to shore it up. And she, that's, I had put a little tarp up just over this part. And it was kind of old and holy and everything. She's like, nope, we're going to get plastic. And she had her friend come in with the staple gun and everything. We all worked together on it. And we got the plastic done. But she also thought of several other things um, to help this place be nice and comfortable and safe. And she just seems like the most caring person. So I really lucked out getting this place. Let me show you what we did. It is an old garage. So one of the things was this wasn't quite secure between the floor and the wall. Now, we're not going to spend hundreds of dollars shoring it up right now. But she had this idea to get these rugs and cut them and then do that, you know, up against there. We stapled them to get the uh, any kind of draft um, out. And then we had a couple extra pieces, which we put up here by Bambi's space. So blocking a space between that door and the wall and that. And eventually, um, oh, I got these big, thick rugs here from the dollar store. Three, like, thin ones. Right, Bambi? So eventually, you know, we'll, I'll probably, you know, paint some kind of mural there. And we could put all kinds of things can be done to shore it up better. But I'm going to put pillow is all around Bambi's bed and like build up Bambi's bed for a real comfortable little space. So yeah. And then I have, oh, the other thing she did was she had gotten this green rug, this really long rug, and then decided not to use it. She may have just been nice and given it up because that's how nice she seems to be. 
Um, it's brand new. So we cut it and we put it in that corner. Um, and then here out at the front. So the thing is, obviously, it's a cement floor. So that's going to be kind of cold and dampy. And I did have my rug. But she was like, hey, do you want this white rug? And I was like, no way, because I'll totally destroy it. And she was like, I don't care. Go ahead. Um, put it under your other pretty rug if you want, you know. Um, and then we also did plastic under that. So, but it's just, it's not complete because that's all we had left. But it's a big piece of plastic under there. So anyway, we ended up putting the white rug here, um, which I might change or I might just get in the habit of taking my shoes off when I come in and put warm slippers on because that would be nice. But right now, almost every area is covered in rugs and it's just really super nice. So the other thing she wants to do is some kind of barrier here that's easy to get in and out of um, so that people can't approach her that Bambi doesn't like run out. Also a latch so we can lock ourselves in when we're sewing late. So... The other thing that we did, it's going to be hard to see because of the lighting, of course. There we go. Um, we're going to paint this window. But she had this beautiful, I think it's hemlock. I don't know. She bought some really expensive wood and had it put here because it was kind of gross there. And this is all just, we did it in a couple of hours, like whatever we could do at the time. So there's a piece that way and a piece that way and it just made it much nicer than it was before it's still you know i mean it's an old garage you know almost forgot to show you she was like i got you a little heater and i told her i had my mr buddy with the propane you know but that's how thoughtful she is. i picked up some uh moisture thingies so yeah this is all of my fabric here the two containers there this container here, and all of the miscellaneous bags on top of the containers. Um, there's some patches, the one at the door, of course. So, and then that purple one. Oh, well, some of that's eBay sales stuff, and the, the blue vintage suitcase is eBay sales stuff. Um, oh, and that's fabric stuff, too. <laughs> so, I just made this uh, Bowie jacket. So I just bought this t-shirt with this on the back for a dollar recently. And it had this jacket that I had gotten for me. But I do not love the gold thing going on there. So I ended up putting that on the back of this and can sell it. Because it didn't end up working for me. And I have some bags I've been making out of t-shirts here. There's a little eagle bag. <laughs> and then some new arm warmers. Starting to make some arm warmers. These are prototypes. They kind of... Well, that one's kind of cool, but I'm still figuring it out. So, yeah. Those are the arm warmers. And here, of course, is the sewing machine. The star of it all. <laughs> Just a basic little um, brother, you know, $100 machine from Walmart. I've had this one for a couple of years now, but pumping out with it, too. It's not great. I mean, it's a little messed up. I can only clean out there. I can't. They make them so you can't open them and clean them out. So, eventually, it just gets ruined and... But right now it's working. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Um, Bambi seems to be pretty happy here in the studio. She just comes right in. It goes right to her bed. But when the door is shut, she can also, you know, roam around. But she tends to want to get right there <laughs> at my main table. So this table, I just, you know, lay out the fabrics, do the pinning, do the ironing. And it's a really sturdy table, actually, that she let me use, the lady. And then here's my flimsy Walmart table. And I just have the machine here. Yeah, so that's about it. I just wanted to show you my new sewing studio. So um, for those of you that don't know, maybe I should have said this at the beginning of the video. I'm Julia. I live in a van and I rent a space to do my sewing and crafting. Um, this is not a live-in space. I have no intention of sneaking around or doing anything like that. I'm very upfront with the people that I make arrangements with and expect them to be very upfront with me and clear with the rules and what you know I should expect and if they're not then I don't rent from them you know as has happened in the past but um this is really great um and I hope that we'll be here for a while it is you know just a couple hundred bucks a month so that's a lot less than rent I have my van and we're just gonna work our butts off and well I'm gonna work my butt off and um just make as much money as I can make as and also just make as much stuff as I can like I want to be here long enough to 
get in the groove. It's very hard. Like it takes me a couple of months and then I'm like, yeah, all right. My store is getting built up. I have a little side money. Okay. Now I can start doing some new projects, something that might not be profitable, you know, but, but it's something I want to do and try and develop, you know, cause each new, you know, creation or a project or idea needs developing. You don't just immediately go, I'm going to make seashell necklaces. And then you're on Etsy selling a million dollars of seashell necklaces. It doesn't happen that way. You got to put in the time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Really feel grateful about this. And we'll be getting to the van redo soon. And again, the idea is to... Ha well, that's what I'm doing too. I'm not buying any more sewing supplies. I'm getting this all pared down. Because not only did I have a larger studio several months back. And kind of built stuff up. Got a little excited. But I tend to like to have supplies with me. Because I always envision myself ending up in a desert somewhere. And I want to make sure I have enough stuff to... To sew with, but that's not how it's worked out. It's actually going to be better for me to pare this way down to two containers max of, you know, supplies at any given time. Um, and then another container of like sales and eBay sales, maybe even one container of fabrics, just some jeans, a couple of uh, projects ready to go. Cause I can pretty much almost go to any secondhand store and find some pieces to work with. And that's what I've sort of learned. So it is my goal to pare everything down to actually all fit in the van comfortably with a new design. It might not work out. I might need to save money and actually do more of a build out design um, with a higher bed than I want in order to get that storage that I need. But maybe we'll get a new rig <laughs> someday, which is what I really want. All right, enough of that. Thanks for watching. Put your questions below. Please like this video. It really helps um, it get out there and have a beautiful day. I'm going to go sew. <laughs> Bye.